So, how do you feel about your daughter getting married? Which which daughter? Diana. Yeah, Diana, I am happy. Really, I am happy. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm happy, yeah, I'm happy. You're, you're happy? Yeah, of course, I'm happy. Oh, okay, Why? so um, we found this clip of you during her religious ceremony. I'll tell you, Hussein, that Diana is now a wife, so she is a man. A man and a man for you. You have to give her what she has to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If I could catch a star for you I swear I'd steal them all tonight To make your every wish come true You every dream for all your life So uh... No, 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 it's not me It's, not, it's some person, he looked like me, it's not me no, 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 it's not me, I'm sure. It's not me. Babe, why are we doing this? I thought the reveal already happened. Hey, babe, it's for the trailer. Just keep going, keep going. I am getting deja vu from planning my engagement party, taking you guys along the setup, but now it is time for my bridal shower. And let me tell you something. I refuse to stress out about my bridal shower like I did for my engagement party, okay? It's just not gonna happen. So today is March 23rd, one month, exactly 30 days before my bridal shower. And I'm gonna take you guys along what I plan to do. We are doing it in this beautiful backyard area in California. And look at the views, first off. Look at those views. So this is where the guests are going to walk in. Oh my God, let me tell you the theme. Hold on, I'm like, hold on, hold on, I'll backtrack. I, who is that? That's the plane. Can you stop? No. Are you done, bro? No. You're kind of like in the way of my video. So originally I was contemplating whether or not I wanted to do a theme for my bridal shower. Couldn't really think of a theme that would relate to me. Like my sister had a Chanel themed bridal shower and it was stunning, but that doesn't really relate to me. Like I was like, should I do like a Dior themed bridal shower? Should I do this? Should I do that? I'm not like a crazy obsessed designer person. So it just didn't make sense to make that my theme. And then I was like, you know what? I'll just have like a generic bridal shower, no theme, just like a nice backdrop, a long table, or maybe a picnic style but then then okay some of you might think this is weird but it relates to me that's all that matters as you guys know San used to be mystery bay when he didn't reveal himself and he I wonder if they can see me they can. <laughs> just down here like this it's just birds and airplanes out here. Hope you guys can hear me. So as you guys know, San used to be Mystery Bay. If you guys are new to my channel, he used to wear a mask and I didn't reveal who he was until the proposal. So we incorporated Mystery Bay in the proposal. I don't want to give too much away, but we are incorporating Mystery Bay in the wedding itself. So I was like, wait a minute. If bridal showers are all about themes, why don't I incorporate Mystery Bay in the bridal shower? 
you know? So the bridal shower is still gonna have that like generic backdrop and long table and beautiful like mixes of like blushes and pinks and whites. But there's also gonna be a little, little mystery based something, something in there. I see a lot of inspo that says Miss to Mrs. or Bride to Be. So in my case, to incorporate it with something I relate to, instead of saying from Miss to Mrs., it would be Mystery Bay to Mrs. Bay's. <laughs> and a little cute white cake. It would be cool to have a little like mask on the cake. <gasps> right? Oh. Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah, I'm assuming it's gonna be between like 20. I'm assuming it's going to be around 20-ish people. We'll see when the RSVPs come in. Oh, another plane, hold on. Oh, this one's going fast. You see it? It's just like... I am currently in search of a pink Mystery Bay mask for the guests to hang on the chairs. I think that would be like such a cool and unique theme. So I already did LED signs and marquee letters for the proposal on my engagement party. So I don't want to repeat that again. I also did floating candles for my engagement party. So now we're going to switch it up and do those long pillar candles. I think they're called taper candles, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're going to add those in with the florals on the tables. I haven't figured out souvenirs just yet, but I need to because it's a month away. And then of course, we're also going to have a big dessert table and a charcuterie board. So it's going to be intimate, but unique. And I have a really cool entrance idea for Hassan um, when he walks in the last hour. So I'm very excited. Like I said, I refuse. Like even if everything goes to shambles, I am not going to stress about this bridal shower because that was too much for the engagement party. I stressed and stressed and stressed and like literally was pulling my hair out. And then after the event, I'm like, why did I stress so much? Was that really worth it? No. I know I said I wasn't gonna stress this time around, but the lease that I'm currently living in with my sister ends this week. San and I have been trying to slowly furnish and renovate our house before we leave for the wedding. Ramadan is right around the corner. I'm trying to get all my content and work sorted out and I'm trying to plan this bridal shower and, 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 and. Okay, so I'm just going a little insane. Just a little. So I know I said I wasn't going to stress out about bridal shower planning, but I'm literally in the middle of moving, renovating our house, working, trying to plan the wedding overseas and this bridal shower and the Ramadan's coming up. I'm honestly going insane. It's been so, so stressful. I think you need to take it like one step at a time and not do too much. I know. It's, it's just hard to balance everything. Like I feel like I'm constantly playing catch up mm -hmm. and it's not even enjoyable anymore. Look, you need to enjoy the process. You are only going to have one wedding. You need to have fun. No matter what, just go with the flow. I had to quit my job when I was wedding planning, but at the end of the day, everything worked out just fine. There were some things that didn't go my way, but don't stress about it. Just move forward and have fun. Just enjoy the process. I know I'm going to change my mind about this after we're back from the wedding because we're going to come back to a house that's ready. We're not going to be worried about where we should live. We would have gotten all the moving and the renovating and all that tedious stuff out of the way. But as of right now, current Diana is really regretting moving and renovating before the wedding because it's just too much and I have a lot on my plate. Right now, I'm really wishing I just waited until after the wedding to worry about all the moving and the renovating. But since the lease with my sister ends this month and I have live events that I have to be present for here in California, I can't just go back to my parents' house in Vegas and live there full time until the wedding. Is this not your shoe? Huh? I have one, two, three. What about this? Is this your laundry? How about you put that away? Oh my God, can you guys believe that? Like, yeah, my shoes were there, but so were hers. She's acting like a bridezilla. It's like she's the only one that's ever getting married. Relax. You have responsibilities too. Honestly, my sister is just being so hypocritical and so inconsiderate. Like, first of all, don't ask me to move my shoes when your mess is all over the apartment. Second of all, she knows how stressed out I've been with everything going on and me trying to move and renovate at the same time. This is exactly why I can't wait to move out. 
whatever. Okay, so speaking of moving and renovating, I am currently in our future studio. Um, it's pretty empty right now. We just have like a couch and a plant and lighting. But I do want to start off by setting up my TV stand, which I'm so excited because I just received this package from Fit You Eyes. And this TV stand is such a vibe, so much an aesthetic, and I am very excited. Let's start off by unboxing this baby and then I'll show you guys the different features that it has. Okay, so you guys already know I'm not gonna put this together myself because what are men for? We need some muscles up in here. So let's call the hubby over. This looks like it's gonna be pretty easy. Let's do it. Easy peasy. That's another way to do it. Do you want me to just like... There you go. Give me some space. There you go. Now. Okay, let's pull it out. Ooh. Oh my god, the color! Wow. Alright, so we have a little manual here, your best friend. A TV stand with a mount. It's very durable. It says it can hold up to 110 pounds. So if you guys see this big old TV right here, we're gonna put it to the test because this is a pretty big and heavy TV. So the TV stand I picked is called the Zen Series and it has a lot of great features to it. It has a flexible adjustment, it has sturdy construction. So like I told you guys, it can fit up to 110 pounds and it is such an aesthetic. It's made out of beech wood. What's great about the shelf is that it's adjustable, so you get a lot of freedom when it comes to where you wanna place your shelf, depending on how you wanna decorate it. And the solid beechwood color is my favorite because I feel like it matches with whatever aesthetic and home decor you decide to do with your house. Also what's great about this is it has built-in cable management, so you don't have to worry about seeing a bunch of wires lying around. You can just tuck it in and it'll reduce all the clutter. But if you just wanna let me know when you're done building this and then I can show them the final result. Okay, toodaloo! All right, so the TV stand is all set up. How long did that take? Like 10 minutes. Yeah, that was really easy to put together. Um, and now we're gonna put it to the real test by mounting the TV on there. All right, here we go! That's it! That was quick. That was extremely that was really easy. easy. That literally took like three seconds, you guys. You just slapped it on there. Okay, let's plug it in. Okay, so we put on an aesthetic little um, beach view on the TV for now. I do wanna decorate this shelf. You know, you can put like a little plant, but I'm feeling these books. They're just fake books that I got from Amazon and a candle. So let's see how that ends up looking like. What? A vibe. Okay, I am loving the way this looks. Such a vibe, such an aesthetic. Yes, y'all see that little touch I added right there? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We're gonna be able to use this in so many different ways so we can do our presentations on here when we have our meetings. I can even just put out a yoga mat and do my workouts or we can have movie nights, okay? Oh my God, the drama. Thank you so much, Fit You Eyes, for this super aesthetic TV stand. I do have a coupon code for you guys, and I will list all their information down in the description box, so make sure you check that out, and let's go on with the video. Good morning! Today is our pre-photo shoot day. We already did our religious marriage ceremony, so like we're not even, like I feel like you can't even call it an engagement shoot, but it's our pre-wedding slash engagement photo shoot. I'm very excited, Sam is currently 
um, steaming my dress because I'm running late. I love you. Why has my love come to you? <laughs> We love a supportive man. As you can see by my pink room, we are back in Vegas. This was my childhood room. We are having our photo shoot here. It's also Ramadan. Uh, if you don't know what Ramadan is, it's where Muslims fast from sunrise to sunset. We can't eat or even drink water until the sun sets. Our photo shoot is from 4 to 7 p.m., so right before we break our fast. And I forgot to have coffee yesterday. I've been having coffee, like right when I break my fast, I have water a date and coffee so I don't have a horrible migraine the next day and it's been working but of course of course yesterday out of all days I forget to have coffee we were driving to Vegas and we were just like so busy and all over the place I literally forgot to have coffee and I woke up with a headache my headache is manageable right now but it's gonna get worse by the hour and I know when the photo shoot starts my migraine is gonna be out of this world so I'm trying my best not to think about it, but I know it's unavoidable at this point. So I have a makeup appointment in 15 minutes. But I want to make sure I prep my skin so it's nice and dewy and not crusty musty when she's applying my makeup. I am doing three different looks for our pre-wedding shoot today. The first one's going to be an all black look. Second one is going to be an all white look. And then I'm also switching to another white dress because we are also shooting our wedding trailer today that you're probably seeing in the beginning of all these videos. I can't tell if the idea I have for the trailer is cool or if it's like cringe, but honestly, a lot of my content is cringe, so I'm just gonna go with it. Today is April 1st. Happy April Fool's! <laughs> okay, today is April 1st and our wedding is literally like three months and five days away, which is crazy. I love how I said I am uh, running late, but I really wanna try the gua sha. I feel like it's gonna help with my headache. <laughs> so I have a YouTube video on, on how to use a gua sha. All right, done. Thank you, baby. It'll be $20. <laughs> yeah, I feel like this definitely helps with headaches. We're gonna, oh, getting the talent ready here. <laughs> how are we doing? You ready for this? I'm so excited. You ready for the day? Yes. You know what? My migraine ain't gonna ruin today. I am very excited. We have been planning this day for a minute. <laughs> we should go. Okay, okay. Let's go. Okay, okay. I just gotta even it out. Ow, baby. Okay, I really have to go. So whatever you think looks best. I do have very dry skin. Okay. So I moisturized before this, but if you think I need more moisture, because I asked her, I'm like, I was kind of last minute. Uh -huh. But I was like, wait, I need someone to do my makeup because I'm also in the middle of moving and renovating my house right now. So it's like in California. Mm -hmm. It's been such, like, everything's been so chaotic. Mm -hmm. because the natural mm -hmm. look up there <laughs> okay makeup is done we have baba doing my hair hi daddy -o. hi so i'm gonna do a little bit of an updo today i'm gonna leave my bangs down but just gonna do like a little bit of a half up half down situation i will show you guys the result once baba is done with my hair all right just changed into the all black look i am going to wear these shoes from amazon and these feathered gloves let me place you guys down i feel like you can't see here is the first all black look complete we have the feathered gloves this dress is from shop akira it has a train in the back I feel like I need to steam the bottom, but the photographer just got here, so I don't have time, but I love this look. My wedding ring literally does not fit, so I just have it in there halfway. Here's Hassan's look. He still has the jacket to put on, but oh my god. We're just adding the final touches. He just has a bow tie. 
It looks so good. Too tight. We are ready to go. Let's take some pictures. I feel like we're in the 60s. This is like a 60s outfit. It's such a vibe.
sun is about to go down and we have the trailer, the wedding trailer to shoot. So I'll insert whatever pictures I have. But this is the third look. It's more casual. This dress is from Saks Fifth Avenue. I'm gonna wear a little veal with it, just like a short veal. And then I'm also pairing it with my Dior heels. We gotta move quick because the sun sets in literally 20 minutes. It's a flowy dress. Babe, why are we doing this? I thought the reveal already happened. Hey, babe, it's for the trailer. Just keep going, keep going. You guys. We are dead. It's currently almost 9 p.m. and all we've had to break our fast is water. We're still on an empty stomach. The shoot took twice as long as we thought because there were so many different shots we wanted to take, but we're done. We got three outfits. We got three different looks. Yeah, it was supposed to be two looks, but we ended up making it three different looks. And it's so dark, they like can't even see me. And now we are loading the stuff in the car and going home to eat mama's food. The best. I feel like the, the first look in all black, we took our time with it and then it got so hectic. I feel like this vlog is all over the place, but it got so hectic after that. I didn't even know my things were everywhere all over the locker. We were running back and forth. Um, the sun went down in the very last dress, so I hope that turns out good. That's the only thing I'm worried about because we lost sun by that point, so it was a little dark. But I think it'll turn out good. <sighs> Let's go home. Hi Hisham, how are you? Oh, you yeah. can talk about it good. Alhamdulillah, and how Kif. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, all good. So, how is the Manawiyat? Well, it's very stressful because we're in the middle of moving, come in. We have no idea. But I don't need to stress you. I don't need to stress you. I don't need to stress you. It's very easy. We are very easy. We are very honest with you. We are very honest with you. أنا قلت لك بس أنا عرفت من محمد أنت شوي ستريس وحتلاقيني هم وكذا بس نحن سوبر أون ذا سيف سايد أنا كاز صراحة بأمريكا يعني they plan a year in advance فبدي أعرف حالي يعني when is a good time to like really go into the details فينا نحن نبلش أنت وين وين are you coming to Lebanon؟ أنا جاي شهر قبل العرس جون يعني first week of June amazing amazing you don't need more than this and yani you're stressing yourself said any for nothing now already you did the booking yeah everything is under control and i just any yani, i'll follow and we're gonna do my face-to-face meeting okay and you want to get to be my team kill okay so boy at least a boy on my own i'm not going to have the head on my door my number is not my brainstorming the everything i'm already i guess it i'm not sure about the country show how the plans but now i will not put the floor plan الفلور بلان بلش انصحك مثلا شو بدي التيبلز يكونوا شو التشيرز بدي يكونوا شو الورد شو الوان الورد انت يو سجست مثلا كولرز ذات يو لايك نبلش نحكي بالانترتينمنت بالويلكم درينك نعمل تايم لاين تبع ايرث ايفريثينج ستارت بيلدينج فروم سكراتش ذن افتر ذات بس نعمل هيك ميتنج نكون احنا جمعنا اول ذا ايدياز وكمان انت اعطيتينا ايفريثينج ذات يو بلانينج فور ناخذ لايك شي فايف دايز ذن وي دو ذا سكند ميتنج نعمل لك مود بورد للايرث كله يعني نجمع everything اللي نحن حكينا فيه باول ميتنج نجمعه على مود بورد بتصيري انت تشوفي everything قدامك يعني عارفه مثلا اي كرسي مع اي طاوله مع الورد اللون تبعه مع الوولز مثلا مع السيلينج مع الكاركترز مع الانترتينمنت everything 
بيصير لينك ببعض طيب اوكي اميزنج هلا بس هير اند ميك اب والمطرب السينجر مش هول لازم من هلا نحجزهم وبعدين المصور هلا اهم شيء المصور هشام اي ونت سم ون فيري فيري جود اول ما توصلي على جون دقي لي تليفون اوكي وهون قصص بالنسبه للتصوير لكل شيء عم بيصير بالعرس صدقيني تراست مي تراست مي تراست مي قد ما بدك يعني انا بريحك الماكسيوم بهذا الموضوع بس موضوع مثلا نخلصي موضوع الميك اب وشعر آه. اكيد بتعملي بروبا بس تيجي بالجون ميك اب وشعر اعملي زوم كول شو ارتحتي لهيك الشخص شفتي ات ورث ات انه تو جيف ات تراي ما ارتحتي بدك تشوفي حدا ثاني هي هول القصص سبقي فيهم طيب اوكي لكن نحكي بكل التفاصيل ان جون انت بس بدي منك انه من هون لجون انت جمعي كل شيء معك وقت بتعجبك اعملي برين ستورمينج وحطي نوتس عندك بالقصص اللي حبيتيها لاقول لك بالعرس اليوم بنصحك فيه هو امبيونس هو اول ما يفوت العالم على البورد روم شو عم بيشوف ده عندي سبيريت تبع العرس السبيريت تبع العرس اللي انترتينمنت يا هودي اهم شغلتين بالعرس صدقيني كل ما حدا يسالنا كيف هاوز ذا ويدنج بلاننج بقول والله اي جست بوك ذا فينيو سو فار بيطلعوا فيه بيقولوا شو؟ قولي لهم قولي لهم قولي لهم انت من هلا بتاخذيها مني قولي لهم مور ذان مور ذان فاين مور ذان والو اكسلنت صراحه انا عم لك بس ركب لك المود بورد تبع العرس انت حتشوفي كيف حياتك حتكون سوبر سهله الماكسيموم مور ذان يو كان ايماجن يعني انت حتتفاجئي انه اف انا خلصت على الارض يعني اه اه اوكي خلص الحمد لله بيرفكت لكن هلا اي سند يو سينجر نيمز اند وي كان جو فروم ذير خلص دونت وري شوف اوكي طيب اوكي ديانا Okay, yeah. Have a nice night. You yeah, too. Yeah. Thank you. See you soon. Yeah. Bye, bye. bye. Okay, so I just got off the Zoom call with the planner. You guys, I was freaking out because the wedding is literally three months away, and all we've done so far is book the venue. Nothing else. No florist. No entertainment. No hair and makeup. No photographer. Like nothing else has been planned. And everyone in the United States of America. When I tell them all I've done so far is book the venue and the wedding is two months away, they're like, they look at me like I'm crazy. And I felt like I was crazy because I'm like, am I doing something wrong? Like I'm falling way behind. And the communication was really hard because they're all the way in Lebanon. But I finally got on a Zoom call, as you guys heard, and he literally was like, just get here in June, a month before the wedding, and we're gonna plan everything for you. Do not worry about anything until then. Like in Lebanon, they do things so quick and so different. Like they already have all the vendors, all the production, and they outsource everything for you. I feel a lot better. For now, I'm just gonna send him some singers that I wanna get quotes from for my wedding, and then um, hair and makeup, and all the rest. I guess we're just gonna take care of one month before the wedding, when I get there in June. It's been a lot, you guys. It's been very overwhelming. And like, Hassan and I have literally been trying to play catch up every day. Our life is super all over the place right now. Cause like I said, moving and renovating your house are two stressful things. And then we're also planning a wedding across the world. And we have all this work piling up. So like combine these into one, I'm going a little crazy. It is currently 12 AM and the videographer just sent me the videos. I'm so excited to watch. So you guys are gonna see my genuine reaction as I watch these. All right, here we go. I'm the bad guy. Oh. <laughs> Say that again, I liked it. I'm the, I'm the. Okay, that made me wanna keep watching. That's the point of a sneak peek. It makes you wanna watch more. Okay, let's see the main video now. Okay, let's watch this full screen. Here we go. Oh my god, my heart's beating. I've been having dreams Jumping on a trampoline Flipping in the air How'd you do that effect? <gasps> I never land, just float there <laughs> As I'm looking up Suddenly the sky erupts Flames and love the trees Spread to fallen leaves Now they're fine
good. So freaking good. I will say my black dress was a little too short. I should have thought about that. But that's not my fault. I know. <laughs> I know it wasn't your fault. But oh my god, the oh, way it's good. the editing, the editing, it's so good. Like you did certain things on the beat. I love it. I like want to post this now. Okay. Now for the next one. Oh shit, there's more? There's more? Yes, I don't miss around. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Why are you making me not know how to pick? Why are you doing that to me? first one they're both really good but i think the first one like moves me more okay what do you think so, it's up to you what you could put on tiktok and one on facebook that is true here's the here's the youtube one i'm uploading right now. oh my god i'm so nervous for that one i'm fucking with you so bad like I'm literally i know you're like feeding it to me one by one <laughs> so annoying <laughs> here's here's the youtube one okay three two one <laughs> Why are we doing this? I thought the reveal already happened. Hey, babe, it's for the trailer. Just keep going, keep going. Yes, I'm so happy you got um, videos of the black look. I might just add footsteps when he's walking before we show the mask. It's your style, it's your name. Yay, I'm so relieved. Oh my God. Because we were brushing so much for the trailer. I was like, wait, how's this going to look? Yay! Okay, I'm about to hop on a call with the event planner for the bridal shower. The bridal shower is literally 11 days away and I haven't booked a decor person, I haven't booked a dessert person or a food person. I'm a little late, all I've done so far is book the photographer. So let's get this finalized. Hello, sorry. Sorry, dear. sorry about that. We're playing phone tag. I just wanted to make sure I'm by my computer. I had a few questions, so bear with me, but I'm still deciding on the chairs, but I do want to go with you for everything else. So the love table, I wanted it for a charcuterie board, and then the cart, okay. I'm planning on doing it for dessert. The florals for the tables, yes. So I want to go with four per table. And we said it's going to be 25 people. Oh, that's beautiful. Right. This is exactly what I mean. Even the, the way the florals are placed is perfect. Because I don't mind having like baby breath and some greenery in there too. Gotcha. Okay. I, I like the open look, but the thing is, if I uh, keep it open, the vinyl, because I, you know how I want to say Mystery Bay to Mrs. Bay's on the vinyl? Uh -huh. It might look weird having it off to the side instead of in the center. The linen, uh, what color did you want for the linen? Do you have, I was going to ask you, do you have a baby pink? I don't want that bright pink. I want to make sure the candles, the linen napkin, and the table runner are like a baby pink, just like the uh, inspo picture. If it's super windy, um, 
I think we're gonna have to put the hurricane glass, but for now, I'd right. rather not put it. So hopefully the weather is good that day. The colors are, you know, uh, pink and white. And if I were to do, if, if I had to decide between like silver or gold, I think silver would look better. How long does setup take? Because I want to make sure I, I'm there before, you know, you guys are done. I'll definitely be there. I might not be there till like an hour in. Uh, but my my fiance will be there. He knows exactly what I want. Like he's very uh, involved in the planning, which is good. <laughs> I really like those cups, those goblet cups. I'll show my fiance the options because he has a good eye for these, and then I'll let you know. Like I'll screenshot exactly which plate setup. Uh, florals, like I mentioned, the pops of purple um, with the same setup as the inspo, and then the baby breath. So I do want one chair for me at the head of the table. Are we able to decorate my chair for the bride? Like add, I don't know, maybe like white ruffles or tulle or something on the chair. One last question. Are we able, I'm not sure if you, you have like a, an office or from home, but are we able to come by and see like a sample of the florals and like a mock table setup or maybe like FaceTime and like see that before the event? Because I'm a very, as you can see, I'm a very visual person. Oh no, I, I mean, lately that's all I suggest because I told my bride, I don't want any surprises. All right, dear, so we'll, we'll, we'll keep in contact and anything you need to add, just let me know, but feel free to let me know. Monday, I'm completely open. Perfect, sounds great. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome, dear. Have a great day. You too. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye. Yay! I feel so much better. God, you guys, I know I said I wasn't going to stress. I was stressing because we're literally 11 days away. But um, finally found an event planner I want to go with. Now I'm about to call the dessert lady and talk about details for that. Hello! We are five days away from my bridal shower. I got a few items that just came in from Amazon. And I also got my dress last night, so I'm gonna try it on. I really, really hope my dress looks good. So as you guys know, the theme is Mystery Bay to Mrs. Bay, so I wanna have masks on every seat. Now, originally, I said I wanna do pink masks, but these are the only pink masks I found off of Amazon, and I honestly, felt like they were two masquerade vibes. I mean, it's really hard not to imitate a masquerade vibes because it is a mask theme. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, I'm trying to make it not too masquerade -y, if that makes sense. But it's probably gonna end up looking masquerade because like, it's a freaking mask theme. Anyways, also a few of these boxes have nothing to do with the bridal shower. We're just in the middle of moving and renovating our house right now. So just ignore those big boxes in the back. Has nothing to do with this, this current event. It's just my life situation right now. I originally got these masks. I mean, they're still very pretty and comfortable on. Okay, here's the vibe. Why is my eye like cut off though? What the hell? Okay, there we go. So these are honestly still cute. This flower is really just like pissing me off, but I feel like these are still cute. <sighs> I was just overthinking it and I'm like, this is too masquerade -y. So I ended up ordering another batch of masks and they were these ones and these. I'm so happy I ended up changing my mind because these are so freaking pretty, you guys. Let me unwrap them. They come in a pair, so they're two different masks, but come on. You can't tell me these are not so much more elegant like these are so beautiful and it's outdoors so i feel like they're just gonna be like beaming through the sun you know and like sparkling obviously my theme colors are pink white and now they're gonna have to be silver because i couldn't find white masks that look this pretty i'm just trying to do something different for each event for my engagement we had white nude and gold as our colors and i had led signs and marquee letters so I just want a completely different vibe for the bridal shower. So we're switching the colors, we're switching the theme obviously, and then we are just changing up the decor. The decor is gonna be completely different, but very, very happy with these masks. I got a couple bridal games and I wanted to do something more fun than the generic like get to know me and like how did you guys meet and blah, blah, blah. So instead I'm doing two different bridal games. The first one is Guess the Dress. So I got these white pencils and we're pretty much going to split everyone in like groups of four or five and have them draw out what they think my wedding dress is gonna look like. And then we're getting a bunch of toilet paper. We're gonna pick one person from each group to literally have toilet paper on 
and try to imitate how my dress would look like with toilet paper all over them. And then I want them to do like a little catwalk fashion show displaying all the dresses. <laughs> And the winner gets a little Starbucks gift card. So that will be fun. Also, you know how in the last hour or so the groom comes out and crashes the party? Well, when Sam comes out towards the end of the party, we do want to play the wedding shoe game. So we're pretty much sitting back to back and he has one of my heels and I have one of his shoes and we just like raise up who we think is the answer to that question. So the couple will sit back to back, answer these questions by holding up his shoe or her shoe. And then I also got these little souvenirs from Amazon. I was trying to think of something that would actually be useful. Like I didn't want to just get a souvenir that is so random that people like aren't gonna use. Um, aside from the masks, obviously the masks are souvenirs because people can just use them. Uh, for my engagement party, for example, it was in December and it was freezing. So I had blanket souvenirs for everyone. I thought that's something that's actually useful because if it's cold outside, they'll just wrap themselves in that cute little shawl. But for this one, since it's outside in the sun and it starts at 3 p.m., I mean, it's going to be like in the 70s, so it's not going to be crazy hot. But I got little fans. I also, I'm going to tie these. It says, thank you for celebrating with us. That's it for things I ordered off of Amazon for the event. Now, in regards to the vendors, I did end up going with an event planner. So she's going to have all the decor set up. And then I also hired someone for dessert and I hired someone else for food. So for food, we are doing like a little charcuterie finger food situation. It's at 3 p.m. So I'm not going to do like a whole... Um, buffet like i did at the engagement at the engagement we had a private chef the food was amazing um his name is zaina's pastries by the way like i 100 percent recommend him if you're in vegas his food was so good like people were literally going three four times for more food but for this one i'm gonna do more charcuterie finger foods light snacks things like that and then we also have moonlight mocktails at the event so they are going to be serving drinks i'm super excited i was watching the engagement party <laughs> footage last night because i'm in the middle of organizing that and like setting up the episodes for you guys and the amount of stress i went through for my engagement party i was watching it over and i'm like girl i do not wish that on anyone and i do not want to go back to that so although i did stress about the bridal shower not as much but i did stress because we are in the middle of moving and renovating our house and there were little issues like one of the vendors ended up canceling on me and little things like that just happen throughout the events that you just can't control a couple mental breakdowns for the bridal shower it wasn't nearly as bad <laughs> as the stress i went through for the engagement and now that everything is set i have all the vendors booked and all these things are coming in i'm actually very excited for this weekend now let's hope this dress fits originally i was just gonna wear white but you guys know how in the bridal shower a lot of people don't wear white like like they like to change it up and match with the theme of their event this is the vibe i envision when i think bridal shower i really hope this fits i got a size four i think i'm supposed to be a size six not gonna lie it's ramadan right now and i'd be eating all night but and then i also got a backup dress just in case this one doesn't fit okay i literally haven't even seen it in the mirror yet <laughs> So you guys are getting a look at it before me. I just have to zip it up in the back. Does this look like a baby shower dress? What do you think so far? Oh, very nice. Does that look like a baby shower dress to you or a bridal? It does, yeah. Uh, baby shower dress? No, no, no. Uh, bridal. Bridal. Yeah. Okay. It's not heavy at all. It's very lightweight, which is great. It has that little slit, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, when I take pictures, I'll be walking. And then it's like, oh, you want a photo? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What do you think? It's nice. Do you like it? Yeah, it's cute. It's actually perfect. Bridal shower vibe. Are you guys doing your hair? That, what are you trying to say? My hair looks like shit? No. It does look like shit. <laughs> he said this. You're not doing your hair? Because you need it. I'm just this is just like the ultimate bridal shower vibes. Like when I think bridal shower, you know, I'm like... Tool, ruffly ruffles, pink, and I can dance in it. I can move. I can shimmy shimmy. So I just sent a video to the family and my mom says I look like a teddy bear in this. So now I'm having second thoughts. I just feel like it's a little big. 
Like I would have hoped it would have been like more oomph and oomph, you know? But I thought it looked cute, especially with these heels. Let's try on the other dress and see. Okay, here is option two. The shine on this is definitely nicer. It has like some bling in it. It's also daytime, you guys, so that's why I don't want to go too crazy with the bling bling. Let's see what the family thinks. Like, this is really what my mom said about the first dress. All right, you guys, here is the third option. This was originally what I was going to wear for my bridal shower. This was gifted by Nadine Marabi, and it is so beautiful. But I just feel like my body like this area looks very bloated and i don't know now i'm liking it more what do we think this is the third option that i was originally gonna go with but we'll see what i end up wearing for my bridal shower i decided to go with the white dress after looking over that footage because uh, i really did look like a teddy bear in those dresses <laughs> I think it's because they were too big on me and also tool makes me look bigger than I am. And that Nadine Morabi dress is stunning. It was my original choice and it's white. You're only a bride once. So I'm gonna wear white as much as I can during this period in my life. The only thing is um, Ramadan ends a couple days before my bridal shower. And I don't know about you, but I always gain weight during Ramadan because I'm up all night stuffing my face, you know? And that dress is tight, okay? So if you see me looking a little fluffy, mind your business. Okay, I'm about to hop on a call with Moonlight Mocktails. I'm on a standing desk, by the way, in case y'all are like, are you that tall? No. Sam put up the standing desk for me because as a content creator, sitting down and editing and doing computer work all the time really gets to your body. So in case you are a content creator watching this, get yourself a standing desk. I also got like a walking pad, which is a walking treadmill that we're gonna put up later tonight. Anyways, that has nothing to do with anything. I like rambling. I'm about to hop on a call with Moonlight Mocktails. They will be at the event and I'm super excited to be collaborating with them because their work is amazing and they keep it halal you know mocktails instead of cocktails that's the new wave people okay we're gonna go over the menu and the ingredients that i want and the overall theme because i do want the drinks to match the theme colors and then we're also gonna come up with some cute like menu names so we're just gonna go over all those details together hello Hi, Diana. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you doing? I'm good. How has Ramadan been? Busy, huh? Oh my God. We, inshallah, when we see you guys on Sunday, you'll, you'll, you'll hear everything about how we've been getting our butts kicked. <laughs> but that's a good problem to have, alhamdulillah. I talked to my sister, Ghanwa. Okay. And she gave me some really funny and like good names that match the theme. Here are some ideas because I wanted something with mystery in there and I wanted something with bays in there, obviously. So okay. then what came up with mask off, masks off, mocktails on. And instead of that being a drink name, I think that's too long oh, for nice. the... Okay. Yeah, I think we can do that as the title of the menu. So like the title of the yeah. menu would say masks off, mocktails on. Yep, there you go. And then um, the actual names of the menu can say, one can say mystery mocktail. Uh -huh. um, the other one can say mint to be. That one can be like a, a virgin mojito with like mints in there because it says mint to be. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And then um, the third one is forever bays. What do you Perfect. think? I love it. They're all really nice. Mint to be is obviously my favorite because it's that's creative, you know. You're using the mint word. Exactly, yeah. So that one, the mint to be, have you have different? We have different option mojitos. You can do either a regular, a strawberry, or a pomegranate, or a peach mojito. You have four different options of mojitos that you can do that have mint. Ooh, I think either a strawberry or pomegranate because we're gonna have a lot of like uh, the colors are gonna be pink, silver, and white. Okay. But in the florals on the table, I'm also going to have hints of lavender in the florals. So okay. any bright colors like that, like pinks, uh, purples. You want to do something white, 
I don't know if, if you want to do pina coladas there. Ooh! Uh, you know, we can do the pina coladas for the second option. Um, if you want to do that. That would be uh, that perfect. Would be, so it won't match our color theme, but mm -hmm. the most popular drink we have is the chili mango. It's orange. It has yeah. tahini on the rim. It's or, or we have the same version, but it's a watermelon version. It's called the spicy watermelon. Okay. But that means also, so you're going to have two drinks that are red if you choose that. That's the only, that's the only thing. I don't mind the mango. I mean, if that's your best seller. Okay, so we got the three drinks down. Okay, amazing. Yay, I'm so excited. I know, same, same. You don't understand, like, we're trying to, we're trying to make sure that your event is, like, top, top, like, the number one. We're pulling out all the strings, so, inshallah. <laughs> now that the vendors and everything are booked, like, I'm not stressed at all anymore. Like, I'm, I'm excited. Yeah. You know, I mean, uh, Allah makes it work in, in, in the most mysterious and the most beautiful ways, you know. We're always stressed, but at, at the last minutes, you know, always comes together somehow. Yeah, exactly. Alhamdulillah. Tayyip, perfect. Like, and I'll send you guys on WhatsApp the names of the mocktails, and we can go from there. Awesome. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Amazing. I'll talk to you soon. I will. I will. Allah is Yalla. Yalla. Bye. I'm excited. We are working on our official wedding invitations right now. So our plan is to just do everything online because trying to get everyone's address and then sending out and mailing the invitations and then having them lose those invitations and then not even know what time and day the wedding is. And the RSVP, like that's such a hassle. And trying to keep RSVP. up. Yeah, trying to keep up with RSVP is like such a hassle. So our plan is to literally just do everything online. We created this wedding website and it has all the information on there. So all they have to do is click on that link and refer back to it. And they can RSVP on there. There's places to stay when they visit Lebanon. Um, and our um, wedding series trailer and our photos and just like all these little details are on there, including a map of the venue. But now um, the parents are confusing us because they're saying we should do physical printed invitations and that everyone else getting married is doing that. But honestly, that's just like the old school way in my opinion. And it just sounds like more of a hassle. We do have to do an Arabic invitation for like certain family members in Lebanon because they don't understand English. Um, so we're gonna work on that. And then we're just gonna do the wedding website. We've been contemplating whether we wanna do online invitations or physical invitations. But honestly, everyone I've asked has been saying that physical invitations is such a hassle. I did a poll on Instagram and about 90% of you said they regret doing physical invitations because things become so unorganized. Everyone throws the cards or loses them anyways. I had a bride tell me that during her wedding day as she was getting ready, she was getting messages asking where the venue is and what time. So I don't need all that extra stress. The online way is so much easier, so much smoother. You can see a list of everyone that RSVPs. You can't lose the online invitations. You can always refer back to them. And it just makes the whole wedding invitation process a lot smoother. I know the older generation prefers physical cards and some people say it's not as special if you don't do physical cards. So what we are going to do is for the older generation that doesn't really use social media or they're not too tech savvy, we are gonna have some invitations in Lebanon printed out for them. But other than that, a majority of the people are going to get online invitations. I honestly... <laughs> Here we it's go. such a funny, cute laugh. I swear. <laughs> I agree. I honestly just regret moving, renovating, and planning a wedding at the same time. Like, a <laughs> sure <enough. laughs> Okay, sorry. Do I have to say like one more sentence and I can't get it through? Okay. <sighs> okay. I just, I honestly just regret. <sighs> ah. Okay, sorry, sorry. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to say it. Okay, my bad, my bad. Here, for real, for real. Okay. I'm just trying to say. I <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> Baby, I was gonna move it. Are you okay? Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. That was heavy. Hey, mom, that was my camera. So hopefully the way the way it look it's either. Yes, <laughs> we got it. Now we just we <laughs> what? What do you think? No, it's for.
Thank you.